twenty-four dollars a night, nine dollars for an extra vehicle if you want to if you're you've got a tow tow vehicle. Uh, and today is August fourth, two thousand twenty-two. So these are the prices as of today. Right. Well, it doesn't say anything about length there. Uh, so pretty much, if you fit, you're fine. Yeah, you know, okay. <laughs> So we'll go do loop uh, loop A first. A1 through 21. Loop one, A. Loop one A through is 21. 21. Here's the campground host. Oh, and I'm in a airstream. Fancy. Yeah. Firewood is eight bucks. A bundle. As you can see, the roads are um, gravel. They're nice. Here's spots two, three. Got some back in sites, some pull through sites. Fire pit in there on the right. Yep. Yeah, every spot has a fire pit and a picnic table. Vault toilets. Um, do not see any showers anywhere, so it's it's um, just the basic. Yeah. Just the campsite basic. outhouses. Yeah. Spot seven. It's like pull through site. Okay, so if you could fit your RV, this could that could hold a big RV. That could hold a very big RV. Campsites nine and ten. The campsites they seem to be pretty, pretty well spaced out. You don't have uh, tons of space in between sites, but lots of trees. Oh, tent site only. No trailer. Number twelve. Oh, well, that's a small site. Yeah, yeah, very small site. There's a big RV. That looks like a, at least a thirty-one or thirty-two footer. Rooms and they have trash bins there, bear proof. Although there are no bears here, so we've been told. So we've been told. Doesn't make sense why they have bear proof trash cans if there's no bears, <laughs> but we have been told there's no bears. So go figure that one. Yeah. <laughs> so that was loop A. So then we'll go right, head up to loop B. Said earlier, no hookups though. So yeah. bring your own generator if you want power, bring your own propane, bring your own electricity. I do not see a dump station here either. Did you see one? No, the closest dump station actually is all the way up where. Uh, Highway 67 meets, um, or ends, or begins, I should say, at Jacob Lake. Jacob Lake has a dump station. Uh, I believe last time we were there it was like $15 to dump um, at the uh, Kaibab RV Resort. Um, but, you know, it's, it is what it is. No water here either, no hose bibs. Nothing like that. No. So this camping is, is, you have to bring everything with you. It's a lot of forest though, that's beautiful forest. It is amazing. It's really wild here. You can see a lot of stars. Uh, it's beautiful. If you want to get away, go camping at a spot that's remote and you're not going to have a lot of people playing loud music and stuff this site. It's a great spot. Yep. And I think our elevation here is around 
I want to say 7,800 feet or so. Uh, elevation 8809. Oh, I was only a little bit off. <laughs> 8,802 feet. So um, it does get cold at night. Um, even in the summer. Even in the summer, it, it does drop down. So uh, be prepared for for that and some pretty intense sun in the day. And uh, they uh, they do have a buffalo herd uh, just down the street here that we have unfortunately not seen while we're we've been visiting. But we have seen the buffalo droppings all over the place so we know they are here yes we just haven't seen them there have been deer We've seen lots of deer lots seen of some deer coyote a lot of birds yes a lot of wildlife out here it's a bummer we haven't seen the buffalo yeah but we know they're here somewhere <laughs> so there's a sign actually if you zoom in on that sign over there let's see the street sign there it is it says buffalo crossing next five miles I got it. I got it. And that's it. Okay, that's the campground.